Hey everybody. Okay, I'm going to show you a great feature, new feature in ZBrush 4 Release 5. Uh, now, in the past you've been able to uh, assign hotkeys to different options or, operation, or operations inside ZBrush, but what's nice about ZBrush 4 Release 5 is that you can assign those hotkeys to the mouse wheel if you have one. So, uh, let's see. To access the hotkeys, go into Preferences. Okay, I've got it already open. Uh, but Find Hotkeys, and this shows you the... Uh, you can restore it back to its original ZBrush, you know, no hotkeys whatsoever, which I'll do. So now I don't have any hotkeys. Um, you can store them, save them, or load them for later use. But here is a really handy uh, hotkey to assign to your mouse wheel. Now, to assign hotkeys, you have to hold down Control Alt and then click on an action, and then immediately let go of the Control and Alt, and then whatever button you press is going to be assigned to that action. So, let's go Z intensity. Okay, now hold down Control Alt and then left mouse click on Z intensity that brings us uh, brings up uh, that little dialog at the top press any key combination to assign custom hotkey or press escape or mouse button to cancel or press delete key to remove previous custom assignment okay now whatever button you press is going to be assigned to that to that action so immediately let go before you do anything else, let go of your control and alt. Now whatever button you press from here on out will be assigned to Z intensity. So now mouse wheel up, which we did. So that's that's nice. Now when we're working on our scene, if we mouse wheel up, our Z intensity is uh, available. So you can be you know moving around in your scene, making your dude look fancy and then uh, I want the Z intensity down so Z up then to reduce the Z intensity I need a little bit more so Z up isn't that cool and the mouse wheel does not have to be uh, strictly assigned to Z intensity you could uh, hold down control alt and assign it to any other feature inside ZBrush that is really cool and I hope everybody uses that and if you guys have any comments or suggestions on what I could be doing to help instruct you, please feel free to leave a comment and subscribe. Thanks.